Welcome back to another video. I have some special microphones in this week, and the first one was the Altec 670B ribbon microphone. These are smaller than their big brother, the Altec 639, but these are just a ribbon microphone. They don't have a dynamic element. And these have a few different settings. So they have an R, a C, and a P setting. The R is ribbon, which is bi-directional, so both the front and the back of the ribbon are blocked. C is cardioid, where just a sliver of the back of the ribbon is covered. And then P is pressure, where the whole back side of the ribbon is blocked off. So we're going to listen to all three settings on drums. The second microphone of this week was a rare one. It was the National CE501 ribbon and dynamic microphone. These are made in Japan in the 1960s. And these have both a typical ribbon motor, but also a dynamic element located directly below the motor pointed upwards. So with these mics, you really get the best of both worlds. You get the warmth of the ribbon motor, but also the brightness of the dynamic element. And the combination of the two is a really cool sound. It's bright and it has a very smooth mid range. We're going to be comparing this one with another popular ribbon and dynamic microphone, the Altec 639. The last microphone of this week was a classic. It was the Sennheiser MD21 dynamic microphone. These are the little brother to the MD421, but these sound completely different. These are omnidirectional microphones, and they have a lot of high end and a lot of mid range, but they don't have much low end. So if you're looking for a mic that picks up everything, this will be the mic for you. We're gonna to listen to this one on both drums and guitars. That's the end of another video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next week for more.